in the community. On the road. And at Avon Ice Cream. This is the Orwell Report. Good Friday morning, I'm Hyvie Nugent. And I'm Maya Abramson. Thanks for watching the Oral Report. The weekend is almost here. Let's send it over to Laura to see what kind of weather we can expect. Thanks, Maya. Today we will kick off the weekend with sunny skies. The high is going to be about 35 degrees, low 24 by tonight. But, like I said, it's going to be pretty cold. Tomorrow a few clouds will move in, but we will have some sun time. The high is 41 degrees with a low of 35 degrees. Sunday, you'll need an umbrella. Rain showers will take over with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. Monday, as we return to school, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 37. Next week, the temperatures will be slightly warmer in the upper 40s and low 50s. Back to you guys. If you want to learn a language like Elvish or create your own, come to the AOAC meeting this Monday. The meeting is from 3 to 4 in C203. And don't forget your $5 dues must be turned in today with your membership form. See Ms. Milner with any questions. Tonight, you can see a free preview of the theater department's thespian competition show called Eurydice. The preview is at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Come support your peers before they go to regionals tomorrow. In sports, the Colts will take on the Steelers this Sunday at Lucas Oil, plus pre-sale tickets for tonight's regional championship football game against Central Grove are on sale in the athletic office until 3 o'clock today. <clears throat> tickets cost $8. The game starts at 7. Sport passes and school IDs are not valid. This is an IHSAA uh, event. And now, it's time for our staff questions of the week. Let's watch. We're back with our teacher's question of the week. Let's take a blast from our teacher's past and see what their favorite cartoons were growing up. I don't know that I really had a favorite. Um, we really enjoyed when Fraggle Rock would come on. Um, we didn't actually pay for the premium channels, so occasionally HBO would have a preview week, and so we were able to watch it. So that was exciting to us because it was just not something we got to see that often. Um, I also remember things like Muppet Babies, um, and then later on we would watch um, DuckTales. That would be a set of cartoons that would be on right after we got home from school, and so we'd sit down and watch before we started our homework. Um, I had two favorite cartoons. Uh, the first one was The Roadrunner, and I think everybody knows Roadrunner. The second one was Pepe Le Pew, who was a skunk, a stinky skunk, who was always looking for love, so he was always kind of uh, chasing around cats to try to fall in love with or get them to love him. And the reason why I liked both of those was because my dad would watch them with me, and it was kind of our Saturday morning tradition. And I didn't really like Roadrunner until he started watching it with me, and I just thought it was funny. When I was uh, pretty young, I'd say The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, when I was a little bit older, um, the original Pokemon, like with the original Iron 50, none of the other, uh, none of the other newfangled stuff, just the original Iron 50 Pokemon. And then um, there was a briefly a cartoon based on the um, the the Super Smash Brothers character Kirby called Kirby Right Back At Ya, and I like that one. And remember, if you have any questions you'd like to ask our staff, email it to ahsorialreport at gmail.com. That's all for your oral report this morning. Don't forget, tomorrow is Veterans Day. Be sure to thank those who have served our country. Have a terrific weekend, Avon.